Shalom. All praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Racha Udash. All honors to my Ella apostles, Bishop Ellis, Great Millstone, who told me this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and as like foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. The USA Shalom, beginning with the 144,000 prophets, and Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, willing. This lesson is edifying and informative. My name is Kwanawath. Coming back at you with another walk and talk in the news from Fox Weather. Life threatening triple digit heat to bake millions across the west this week and this so-called life-threatening heat that will <laughs> allegedly bake millions across the west this week pales in comparison to the real heat that the lord will bring upon this land pursuant to the book of Malachi chapter 1, excuse me, chapter 4 verse 1 wherein the elements will burn as it is written in like an oven okay and the elements shall melt with fervent heat to the paraphrase of the scripture in the book of 2nd Peter 3rd chapter because the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly, according to the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 1, shall be stubble. So, let's listen to this headline. The heat alerts, they're expansive here. We are tracking excessive heat warnings all up and down the I-5 corridor, heat advisory as we get a little closer to the coast, an excessive heat watch for Nevada, uh, portions of Arizona, even uh, southern Utah capitalizing on at least some of that heat in certain low-lying areas. The I-5 from Redding all the way down to Bakersfield, doesn't matter where you stop, it's going to be scorching hot. So the hot car dangers are going to be really present here as well. So uh, try not to put any valuables that you could see melting on your front dash. I've made that mistake before and it's kind of a pain to clean up. As you head a little bit closer to the coastline, as I mentioned, heat advisories are still going to be at play with temperatures expecting to climb into the triple digits and stay there. And then you add on the heat indice, what it's actually feeling like outside. It'll feel even a little warmer than that. Notice Redding down to Yuba City. You're in the triple digits from Tuesday all the way into Wednesday with the worst day for heat projected to be Thursday, especially for Southern California and Southern Nevada. I talked about the hot car. Let's really put a number to that. I mean, for Fresno, California, on Wednesday, something in the car for 10 minutes can cook up to 124 degrees. In 60 minutes, 148. I remember last summer we had somebody that cooked a whole steak and potatoes meal on their car because it was so hot. Damn. I don't know if this is steak and potatoes weather, y'all, but it is certainly going to be very hot. That heat risk, though, is going to be high on Wednesday, major. And then we take that up a notch once again as we head into Thursday. This is the area that I'm circling for you on your screen that then is a little bit warmer and even enters into the extreme heat risk out west. So for any people maybe heading out to Sin City in Las Vegas, make sure to drink lots of water. Although you might not want to, you will be thanking me later because that heat can really sneak up on you. Well, the heat that is prophesied to come will as well sneak up on the masses that were that will, excuse me, be eating and drinking, marrying, and giving into marriage. Because 
the day of the Lord, Yahweh for Hashem Yahushai shall be as a thief in the night. And it is written in the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15, that the Lord will come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind to render his angry fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and his sword, by his sword, roughly paraphrased in scripture, shall the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So this life-threatening triple digit heat that is to bake millions across the West Coast again pales in comparison to the heat that is prophesied to come upon this land. Now let's get into the scriptures because that oracle was just pretty much used as you know the inspiration as, as a vehicle if you will um, to get to this point in the lesson. Now th this is the book of Malachi chapter 4 verse 1 it says for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven so what day is that referring to that's talking about the day when Yahweh Shai after the will of the heavenly father Yahweh um, returns all right so that day is going to burn as an oven and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. So, who are the proud? And who are they that do wickedly? The proud is Esau, Edom, so-called Caucasian race, which according to Malachi chapter 1 verse 4, they are the wicked. The proud also includes two-thirds of the nation of Israel in addition to the heathen nations. But the focus besides Esau, Edom, is two-thirds of the nation of Israel, of Israel. They are also the proud, and they are also that do wickedly. They indulge in idolatry, bestiality, sodomy, um, all kind of different, even abominable wickedness, man. Eating all kind of unclean beasts, shrimp, pork, crab, lobster, and all that, that they ought not to be doing according to the laws of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So, as a result, they're going to be stubble when the Lord sends and brings that fire upon this land. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, save the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai of hosts, that he shall lead them neither root nor branch. So nothing after the Lord has sent. Those ICBM nuclear missiles, which, according to Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 25, are the weapons of his indignation to destroy this land, is nothing is going to be left. Okay? Nothing. Literally. It's just going to be a waste on a desert. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 21, verse 9. It says, Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. So, when the Lord sends Yahweh Shai back, he's going to make all the proud and all that do wickedly as a fiery oven. Okay, they're going to become a stubble in the time of thine anger. The Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. The fire from those ICBM nuclear missiles, right? Weapons of the Lord's indignation, according to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 25. Now, concerning the destruction of this land, according to biblical prophecy, that is the land of America, Babylon the Great, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 17. Behold, well, straight to the point of fact, verse 19 it says, In Babylon, the glory of kingdoms. The beauty of the child, his excellency, shall be as when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And we understand that Sodom and Gomorrah was overthrown by fire. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. 
and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and satyrs shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces, and our time is near to come, and our days shall not be prolonged. So, the destruction of this place, according to biblical prophecy, is imminent, and the destruction will not be prolonged. So, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to, you know, Spirit was on me to do another lesson. Wadi Ahaba Shimi Awusha for the inspiration. And um, with that, I'll catch you in the next one. Lord willing. Shalom to the elect.